Hello everyone, and welcome back to part one of building your Mattel. Okay, so as you, you saw in my first video, which was the introduction video, I've already got the first four parts. So I think the first thing to do is obviously, let's get this ripped open, take a look at it. I need to keep these. You can use them to make windows. Obviously, you use them obviously for to put your glue in. But yeah, always try and keep them. Okay, so let's get the first parts out. We get a nice little file. We get some. Obviously, I'm, I'm assuming this is PVA glue, but obviously it's probably been in there a while, so it's it's no good. I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know what that is. And I'm not sure if this is the same. Yeah, but whatever it is, it's all obviously it's been there a while, so it's all perished. We get some parts of the superstructure. Okay, so it's got the parts laid out. Obviously, there's not really much to do in issue one. Let's have a quick look at the superstructure. Nicely, that fits quite nice. Yeah, there's obviously some work as a fill in, that's going to fit nice. That's in on the top. This part goes on the top. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Okay, so I've laid out the first two parts of the keel. I'm just asking you to uh, leave little wooden, almost like little notches facing forward. It's asking you to take the first uh, like bulkhead number seven and that fits in the in the second slot back like I say according to the instructions they tell you to glue these in now but like I say I don't follow the instructions and obviously that should take part eight and that slips in obviously I'm just going to turn it upside down because obviously that's got two little tags and the reason obviously that I'm, I don't know anything yet because obviously these tags are going to go in obviously a part, actually a part of the uh, the bottom of the ship. So uh, like I say, once you start adding all these parts in, that's when it all squares itself up in any case. So I just don't think you need to glue anything at this stage. So that's pretty much it for the first part of the uh, the keel. I'll put that to one side. Okay, so we're just getting the first two parts of the superstructure. This is the uh, the bridge. This is the left left and right hand parts, and they fit quite nice. I'm just going to give them a little a little uh, file, and we also get the anti aircraft command post. And that fits on top. Yeah, so I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, start to file this. Okay, so I'm just going to fit the two parts together. So right hand side is slightly higher than the left hand side. Not too much, but just enough that you can kind of feel it. And obviously to, to sand it all smooth, you have to sand like the entire section's right hand side to get it all level. So I think the best thing to do is obviously just to sand off the little nibs. Sanded all the nipples off. And I've just gone around the edges with an 800 grade sandpaper just to smooth out any imperfections on the edges of the castings. But that's fitted quite nice, obviously. Because we've taken away the location nipples, obviously now the two parts won't actually hold together like they did before. But obviously that's not a problem because obviously now I can like line it up 100% correct. And before it was kind of like being held by the nipples into the location that they chose so your castings are slightly off and you're never going to get them level so but like i said in my last video i'm going to actually solder these parts but obviously because i've got no obviously 
like location nipples hold together. I'm just going to use a little bit of super glue on some of the larger surfaces just so I can just like slightly tack weld it in place. I'm just going to use a little bit on the largest section and just use a little bit on where the, lo where the location pins of the nipples were before. I'm just going to bring the two parts together and just line them up. And you may not want it so it's like obviously like the, the tops are all lined up. I know there's probably going to be extra parts added later on, but obviously if you get this stage right, it's just going to make everything a little bit better. And that's now just gripped. Okay, so now it's soldering time. Okay, so I've got my soldering iron. I've just filled it with gas. It's a butane powered soldering iron. Just pretty much lights it. Put it onto the lock. Onto Put it onto lock, and then you see that controls it. You can also turn the flow. You can, right. That's it. Feels quite nice. It doesn't. It doesn't feel that much more heavy than the pen. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. Just something means to get no uh, no cables tying me down, especially when being left-handed. Okay, let's get the model over. Okay, so I'm just going to get me white metal flux and I'm just going to run it all the way along it's always best to, if you can so it's soldered from the inside I'm just going to run a little bit of a gap get this all in iron I've got it on the lowest setting you can't come see you've got no temperature gauge but obviously on the lowest setting it should be fine I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the white solder I'm just going to start to run it down this seam line. But be careful, they do get quite hot, so obviously you only work with it for a couple of, sec couple of seconds at a time. Just pick up a bit more. Let's get a little bit more flux. Okay, so that's the first section done. And you've got a really nice, that's really solid now, it's really good. And obviously, especially when you're putting on the, like, the little negative features, you can kind of just clean the end of the tip. Make sure you don't get your finger out of the way. Otherwise, you're going to burn it like I'm just done. Yeah, like when you're working with the little negative thing, features where you're adding all the edge brass parts, and you can like, just pop them in, and you can just little, drop a little. Takes a solder in, and it gets such a such a good weld. Okay, so I'm just going to fill this bit up. All I'm doing, well, see where I added that too much on that solder, I'm just smoothing it out. I've just got to sand the joint. Okay, so that's pretty much all the first part of the uh, bridge, all, all filled with solder. It's not bad for the first attempt. Pretty much most of the most of the little gaps have, have filled. All the solders run into it. There's a few places. But that's not too much of an issue. I'm just going to start by sanding all these seams down.
Okay, just pay extra attention when you get around the, the also like the window section. The last thing you want is a slight lip going all the way around the top of that. The last thing you want to do is obviously uh, sand that away. Yeah, so just keep your eye out. sandpaper and the file just using the file that came with the kit and that looks okay obviously it may need some filler added later time but obviously once we actually add all the rest of the details and we bare metal prime this section obviously that's when we can tell if it needs any more sanding obviously that's just the part there where obviously I added a bit too much solder but like I say just smooths down to nothing yes yeah, so that's okay so I'm gonna move on to the command center Obviously, sometimes, obviously, it, once like around the, the top of the wind there, you can clearly see that's decoration. But around the top of the con command center, you can clearly see that's just a casting mark. So that just needs uh, filing off. Because I've got windows at the bottom, obviously, what I'm slightly doing is angling slightly, probably five degrees down. Obviously, I'm not too bothered if it slightly rubs into that, and that's okay, but I don't want it to rub into the window, so yeah, so I'm going to slightly take this off, put angling down. so you don't rub any of this detail off around the windows. Finish off with a little bit of 800 sandpaper. feeling something smooth and just run your fingers over it okay move on to the next station okay so that's all the uh, command center all filed off let's move out I'm not going to uh, solder this part because I don't want to uh, fill up all that natural window ledge so I'm actually I've just mixed up a little bit of two parts of epoxy resin I'm just going to epoxy these two parts together. So I'm just going to run, trying to keep it all on the inside. Along the inner edge, not so much the outer edge. sit there and dry okay so the uh, the bridge has been sat from the last hour and the epoxy resin is fully dry it's absolutely solid but it's also still left the uh, the nice little window line indication so I'll see how that's painted that's gonna look really nice okay if I'm gonna follow the instructions which I'm not obviously to tell you to bare metal primer this now and then add your your final battleship grey coal but obviously I just I just don't get that at all. There's so much more detail. I'm going to put a picture on the screen what it looks like when it's fully complete. The bridge. There's so much. There's obviously brass metal parts. There's etchings. So obviously, yeah. So I'm going to leave that as it is for today. I'm going to bring over the, the first part of the whole section, which obviously I've not glued. But that's pretty much it for issue one. Okay, so I'll bring it over pack two. Obviously, it looks like obviously next issue we're going to get some more of the bulkheads. 
I think we're going to get the bottom of the ship as well. Obviously, this is what I tell you about. Where I see these little nibs. Obviously, they'll go into their lights. So that's why I haven't built anything yet. And also, I'm going to get the first main battery. And that looks really nice. That looks like a really nice piece. And obviously, we've got some more parts that are going to obviously get. Obviously, I'm going to solve them into there as well. Yeah, but I'm actually really looking forward to this build. It's the first actual battleship I've ever made. Obviously, I probably made a little plastic kit one when I was when I was younger. But I've made loads of ships, but yeah, it's the first battleship, so yeah, I'm really excited to see it. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, absolutely great if you just give me a like, because obviously it really helps little channels like myself. And uh, if you want to see more from the Mato build series, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time.